So after messing around with machine learning for a while and digging through different algorithms, I decided to make a self-driving car. So I just Googled how to make a self-driving car and came across a bunch of useful materials. But since none of us had written any working machine learning algorithms before, we had to learn it from ground up and also Python and how to use Raspberry Pi and stuff. And at this point, we finally completed some code for machine learning and lane detection. And then uh, we used the Udacity simulator to basically drive around our car in this track and collect the training data, which we use for machine learning. So here we are also capturing every frame that we are driving with the corresponding steering angle and the speed. And this simulator returns the frames as a JPG file and CSV file for the corresponding steering angles and speed of the car. And this is how it looks. So uh, this has camera on three different parts, uh, left, right, and center. And here I'm just deleting the center um, and uh, also deleting the throttle, which I'm not using on my algorithm. And since this also stores the uh, left and right images, uh, I'm just keeping the center images and deleting the left and right images. And I'm using Google Collaborate to store all the images and feed it to the network. And this is the little prototype that we built. And then we order Raspberry Pi and BMW from Marketplace. Then it was time for testing. As you can see over here, the camera is taking input from the video that we recorded and it is running the motor which is representing our steering angle and all the machine learning is being uh, processed on Raspberry Pi and this is the steering outputs. And then we were ready to test it on our car. Since the Raspberry Pi was overheating, I used active cooling thanks to my personal Bitcoin miner. And then the moment that we all were waiting for. Four gear? Nice. Testing two. Test one. Ooh. Our car was running decent enough, but um, we believe we can make it even more better. So that's why we increased the training data set by almost seven times. And we trained the car in a completely different track as well, trying to increase the quality of the training data and the quantity. With this data, we train our machine learning algorithm again after making some minor tweaks. 
and the algorithm which was taking like 10 minutes before to run fully uh, was now taking about like 60 minutes to be completed we also tried upgrading the battery but it was of no use and then we also focused on the lane detection this was our setup we just had two lines of receipt papers working as lane lines and we got some pretty good results for it too What up guys so uh i saw a car right there and this is our testing site this beautiful park over here uh, our battery died it takes uh it only works for like 10 minutes and it dies and it takes like 15 to 30 minutes for it to charge we didn't have enough money to buy another battery so here we are just uh, making it work with that same old battery and let's wait 30 minutes so test number five i guess let's go Our battery died again. Yeah, we are charging it right now again. again. <laughs> and this is a change location now. We are a little bit ahead of what's it. Hmm? Sort of, sort of. So, do not run your machine learning project on a Raspberry Pi because I, I never use the Pi camera because the processing power of Raspberry Pi is really weak and the frame rate of the Raspberry Pi camera is like a, in I think it's like 12 or 15 something like that. So uh, you really need something with high processing powers or something which has high frame rates that can really help. So probably the next step is going to be trying to test that. And I will also try using a phone. Also, Jetson Nano. For processing, image processing and for camera as well. Thank you for tuning in. This is my Batmobile. Thank you so much for watching. I have some of the useful website and videos, articles that I use, and our final version of our code down in my description, which you can use to run your own self-driving car. Until next blue moon, take care. For the lane detection test. Lane detection, bro. Hey, kill you. Amplification. Amelification. What is amelification? Machine learning implication. Machine learning implication. For the machine learning implication.